going on everybody just wanted to uh, react to a very interesting situation that just happened uh, to an Apple store in California so let's have a look and then we'll talk about it after stolen right from an Apple store in the East Bay. I want to show you now some video from the Bay Street location in Emeryville. You can see here the man in all black he grabs the phones from the display tables, puts them into his pockets, and then he walks out of the store. He also walks past an Emeryville police car before getting into a, a Hyundai Elantra. Now, we have since learned, though, that there was not an officer in that patrol vehicle at the time. Okay, so I also have another video here just showing a different location. Similar thing happens. We'll watch that and then react to it after. So this one doesn't have any audio, but you see guys coming into the store right now, running around, stealing iPads, phones, maybe a laptop. And buy twenty-seven thousand dollars worth of merchandise. That's grand theft. So, okay, where do you even begin with this? So, I understand that in the first video there was no cop car in the car. That being said, where are the cops? I know these guys were in there really quickly, and then they walked out. Where was that cop? Was he like in a coffee shop getting some lunch or something or what happened? But you, you can hear alarms going off. I guess the cop might have been far enough away dealing with something else and didn't hear the alarms. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt because there's no way it's this crazy, right? But at the same time, if and when they do find these people doing this, what's even going to happen to them? A soft catch and release program? Or are they just going to give them a small fine? Are they even going to get the merchandise back? I mean, this is what happens in a state like California. I don't know where the second uh, video was from, the one we just watched. I don't think it mentioned that at all. But the, the first one was in California, I think in Oakland. And the guy stole, I mean, they, they didn't even start the video at the very beginning. He, he stole around 25 or so phones. If those things are you know, 500 to 1,000 bucks, I mean, he just stole anywhere from 12,500 to $25,000 worth of merchandise. You don't see those things happening that often in other places because that's way too risky. You're going to get caught or you might even have you know a security guard, a store employee, not that I would recommend that. If you're a store employee, you know, that's not your job to you know, let them take it, call the cops, and then they'll deal with it after. But if you're a security guard, if you're, you know, if the cop was actually in his cop car or if a cop was around, you're going to get caught. It's way too risky. And then even if you get away temporarily, they're going to find you, they're going to catch you, and you're going to face a hefty crime as grand theft, or you're going to receive a hefty penalty as grand theft should be. You should have to face a heavy penalty for that. But they're not. We're doing something similar here in Canada where we just have these insanely left-wing, super soft policies on crime. So what happens? The crime explodes because people know that they're going to get away with it. And if they don't get away with it, the penalties are going to be very soft. This is why these left-wing kind of crime policies don't work. It, it's... <laughs> You watch a video like this, and it's just, it's unbelievable. Like, how does this even happen? Criminals are now getting to the point where they're cocky. They can just go, oh, okay. Soon they're not even going to be wearing masks. They're just going to show their face. Hey, guys, I'm here to rob you. And there's nothing you can do about it. And if this keeps happening to a store, especially like Apple, they're going to leave. Look at what happened in San Francisco. Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Burberry, all these places, these high-end stores have these big, big stores located in downtown San Francisco. What happened? 
these policies came out, those stores started getting robbed and destroyed. So those companies said, well, if that's your policy, we're not going to let you destroy one of our businesses. So we're going to leave. Now those people who worked in those stores don't have jobs. I saw someone in the comment section earlier telling me how California has a strong economy. Okay, maybe that's true in some places. Maybe that's true. I'll take your word for it, I guess. But look at the homelessness in places like San Francisco now, in L.A., San Diego. Usually when you have a thriving economy, you have less homeless people. I know that mental health issues is not necessarily just a lack of, you know, making money. There's you know, drug abuse and mental health issues for sure. But if big companies start taking their jobs away, where the fuck are these people going to work? That's also going to attribute to homelessness, and it's going to definitely contribute to having a bad or a worsening economy. Right? So when you have these policies, and then you have Bill Maher talking about how awesome Gavin Newsom is. He's a winner! What I just showed you, does that look like winning to you? That looks like losing to me. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I mean, this society is just getting so much more ridiculous by the day. Let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear what you have to say about things like this. Uh, let me know uh, whether you agree with liberal policies on crime or you disagree with it strongly, lightly, whichever. I, I, I always enjoy uh, reading your comments. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll be back shortly with another video.